Hello and welcome to another Retro Spotlight. I'm Joe Dix. This is Star Fox. And I missed the start button. I think. That's okay. We'll watch the attract mode come in. Uh, we're playing Star Fox 2 because... Well, Star Fox because Star Fox 2 is coming out later this month for the first time ever. Our cover story this month is cancelled. All about the games that never made it to the shelf. And Star Fox 2 is one of the big ones. One of the weird ones, too, because that game is definitely further along than a lot of the projects you end up hearing about getting canned. But Star Fox 2, anecdotally, was canceled because Miyamoto and, and company, I think he's just the easy one to kind of put the point the finger at. But Nintendo felt that, you know, in an age where the PlayStation was out, or, or yeah, was out, the Saturn was out, you know, these consoles pushing 3D graphics that this may not have looked so hot, uh, or Star Fox 2, rather, but this, Star Fox, this was something, so I'm going to go into Sector X. Level 2, level 1, level 3. You know what? No, let's go here. Let's do level 1. It's a great story here. I'm terrible at Star Fox. Really not good at all. But we're going to we're going to do what we can anyway. Better at Star Fox 64, but even still. These are not my forte, but I, I felt it would be necessary to kind of jump in and play seeing as this whole month we're we're looking at canceled games and end of the month the sequel's out we've never really looked at Star Fox on the site before so it's fitting uh, I think a big thing is the default controls which I know I can change but default controls have you do the inverted flight and Something about inverted stuff always broke my brain. I mean, I get it, but, you know. Did a little bit of the training earlier, and they want you to stay in formation, and I just, I don't know, this game is so, it's really, really low poly, and because of it, I never quite know what the hell's going on, and you got, you know, Slippy down there telling me I'm shooting him in the back, but I don't even know that I'm doing that, you know? He's just kind of there. I don't know what I'm aiming at. I don't know what I'm supposed to shoot, what I'm not supposed to shoot. But it'll be alright. We'll see how far we can go. I think like many, or maybe not, maybe a bunch of people had this and I'm just the weird one that didn't. But I never had a Super Nintendo. So my first exposure to any of these characters was Super Smash Brothers. I was very confused as to what a Star Box was. Or a Star Fox even. Uh, but I, then I, I grew to quickly love and appreciate them. And I remember when Star Fox 64 was out, uh, my brother and I, never buying it, but renting it one weekend... And I remember we had to go to the weird rental store, Hollywood Video, because Blockbuster was completely sold out of it. So we went to Hollywood and then got our mom to sign up for an account just so we could rent Star Fox 64. And I think played it and beat it in a sitting. And then we toyed around with the multiplayer stuff, and then that was kind of it. Ooh, fall. Okay. Which it was, you know, it was good. I didn't, didn't hate that one. I liked the weird little, uh, I think we, we tried really, really hard to get to a certain point because you had that mode in 64 where you could unlock a, like a, well, one you had the tank battle and I think there was an on foot mode too. I just remember us. Playing for a while to try and unlock some stuff and 
not unlocking it by the end of the weekend. And for some reason, the weekend was the the limit. Like normally, rentals were a few days, you know, it like five days or something. But weirdo Hollywood video. What the hell is happening here? Let's throw a bomb at him. Hollywood video. Okay, the bomb did nothing. You had to. You only had like three day rental or something. Silly. There we go. Shoot the red and yellow flashy thing. I got that much. I think, you know, so last week we did a retro on Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart specifically, to celebrate its 25th anniversary. And I lamented throughout most of the video how terrible I was at Super Mario Kart and that I didn't really care for that game and whatever. And by the end of the video, I was pretty good at Super Mario Kart. So perhaps by the end of this, uh-oh, I might not hate Star Fox. Look at that. Because it turned out my quote-unquote hatred and distaste for Super Mario Kart on Super Nintendo simply of a, uh, due to a lack of ever having really played it. There's a way I can slow down, right? Never. So, with, with me kind of diving in here, perhaps... Alright, that's not good. Perhaps I'll finally fall in love with this. Nope, never mind. That I killed him too, though. So, maybe it cancels out. That'd be cool. I do. I, I feel a little more confident now. Star Fox. Where are you going to start me off? I don't even... See, that's the, the one thing. I don't know if I'm at the beginning or the end. I couldn't tell you. I don't know what this guy is. Ooh. Boss? Yeah. All right. We can do this. This is really impressive for a Super Nintendo game. Open. I don't think I'm aiming in the right spot. Definitely didn't avoid. Oh, okay. You're supposed to not get hit by those, I see. Alright, we knocked off his arm. We got one more little... Little duber hanging on. Let's take that out. Alright, well, thank you very much. Didn't get that one. Alright. Check. Alright, one more hit and I'm done -so. That That's called done -so right there. It's okay. We're growing. We're getting better. Probably. Maybe. I would later grow to hate Star Fox because of Super Smash Brothers. He was the one, particularly Falco. All my friends played Falco, and they got very good with Falco. And I was not very good at fighting Falco. Nor Fox. Um... And then, you know, it comes full circle. Because then I loved Fox because when I tried to get good at Smash Brothers, when I decided that was a thing I wanted to do, a lot of professional players use Fox and Falco. And I, I watched this documentary series where a lot of people played Fox and Falco. And watching them, I started to learn kind of different, different tricks, different techniques so then I'd try and replicate them I didn't do them well but I could at least attempt you know I, I kind of knew what they were doing and I was able to to go at it and by learning Fox again not well but by learning Fox quite a bit I then took those same techniques back into Ness and got really really good at Ness and I felt really really confident with Ness for a long time I don't don't really know how that confidence stacks up today 
because it's been a while since we really played played but I don't know I still feel like I do all right what am I what am I doing probably should bust out Smash Brothers at some point soon do a little tournament well There it is. I assume Smash Brothers is coming to Switch like this year, but uh oh, what happened? Stage one clear. All ships check in. We got Slip. We got Peppy and Falco, right? Peppy. Uh -uh. Slippy Peppy. Oh yeah, look at that. Slippy Peppy Falco. Peppy Falco Slippy. There is a certain charm to all these guys that I wish I would have, you know, been exposed to them a bit earlier than I was. I feel like I'd hold more of an attachment. I see. I don't care. Oof. I think, too, there's that big loops. There's that big Star Wars kind of fascination I think that you know this is an easy way to I don't know are they mine no they're bad I'm, yes they're bad okay not my friends my friends would scream if I were shooting them this kind of changes the whole like you get used to one way of playing and then this is a whole other thing but anyhow yeah I never never did the Star Wars thing never cared so this I never had the uh, where are you at buddy come on out there you go. Saved your life. Yeah, you're welcome. Ooh. But I don't, yeah, I never had the space stuff, you know? More Batman and Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. And weird monsters. Oh shit. Oh poop. Is that health? I don't know. The one I, I kind of wish it played Star Fox Zero on Wii U because it's from Platinum. I played the demo and enjoyed it quite a bit. I think the big problem with it is. You know, they haven't made a sequel to... That's why I'm really excited about Star Fox 2 later this month. They've not made a sequel to a Star Fox game, ever. You know, every every single... Star Fox 64 was a remake of this. I guess there's the GameCube ones. I'm being a little reductive, but I never played them. But you know, Star Fox Zero, I was excited for it to be the next big whatever. And it was Star Fox 64. Again, you know, you're still fighting Andros. You're still doing whatever. I kind of want to see this... Fuck you. I want to see this franchise get fleshed out a bit. You know? I think that'd be cool. What am I shooting? Alright, alright, alright. You can't shoot bullets. I, I learned, and we're done. Ooh, that might be game over. I see that ship time zero in the top left. There he is. Oh man, they are not forgiving at all. Or are they? No, they're not. Just back. All right, we'll go to Sector X. Let's see what they got over there. Level two. Good luck.
I can boost too. See, even this, I took a completely different path this time, and I feel like I'm still on the same level. I guess there's different enemies here. This is very samey. You gotta give me that. But yeah, I, I, now that I am getting the hang of it, it is better. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wrong one. Well, let's just hit the door. Great. Mm, can't touch the ground. Shouldn't touch the ground. You can. You don't want to. That was health. That was good. Something about that feels good too. Just the kind of weaving in and out. I'll tell you one thing: if you have a 3DS, and specifically a 3DS, uh, not the 2DS, and you are looking for Star Fox to play, do yourself a favor: grab Star Fox 64 3D because it. It really benefits from the 3DS. Fuck. 3D. Oh, okay. Well, that works too. But seeing that stuff kind of pop out of the screen in a diorama effect, really, really, really good. But if you're not careful, yeah, they'll fall on you and you die like that. Good particle effects there. Good, good. So and this was woo, one of the few games. I know this is everyone always brings this up, but one of the few games to use the FX chip on the Super Nintendo. Uh, and really just kinda add something else to it that standard carts couldn't do. Um, you know, nowadays we would, I don't even know what we would do. Fuck. Just, you'd probably, if you couldn't get it to work on the native hardware, you'd just have to find a way to, to compromise and then patch something in if possible, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but back then... You had the, I don't know if it's the advantage, I don't know if that's the right word, but you had the possibility, you know, for a cost, to, you know, they developed another chip to go inside of the cartridge that you could then do greater things with, which is kind of cool. You don't really see that stuff anymore. Out, not outside of, like, buying a specific graphics card for your PC or something. You know, where if you've got X, then, you know, this game will do Y. Boom. I think I got him. Oh, I tried, man. Come on. Health? No. All right. Great. Look at that. Nailed it. Oh. Nope. Okay. Well, still, we're going to take out some of these before they take us out, like last time. Oh, boy. See? We're good. Okay, enemy ship. Why does this look like the same thing I fought before in a different level? Um, 
Did I play the same level? I swear I went a different path this time. Yeah, this is deja vu. Hmm. I don't know, man. I call shenanigans. Look at that. Whoops, hit the mic. I'm an expert now. Do I have, oh, that's a one. I had seven extra lives. That would have been ideal, but you know. Slippy's down. All right, that's okay. We'll get him back up. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, that's definitely a different path. I went. Oh, got it. Corneria is always the same. I understand now. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's do it. Sector X. See what she's got for us. Good luck. Oof. Right, another one of these. Here they come. You gonna shoot at them, Falco, or you just gonna say, here they come? Bogey on your six. Well, where are you at? Okay, got you. Got them. Well, you, you say something, and then I help, and then you... Hmm? Alright. No idea if I'm successfully avoiding or what's happening. I don't know if I can still barrel. Oh, I can barrel roll. It just doesn't show my ship. Barrel roll? I have. I don't. Know. Did I get it? No. Yep, I understand. Here's a bomb. Thank you very much. That's one of mine, I think. That's a few of mine. Yep, got it. I understand. Need health? Need more shield. Boost the world. Oh shit! I got the shield. Just, and then wasted it by going through. Oh, there you go. You're welcome, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Good, bad, I, I don't know what's happening. I have no idea where I am. Well, all right. Ooh, that's not good. That's the, that's death. That's, yep. Now, is this one score based? I haven't seen a score at all. No, there was one at the uh, yeah eighty five percent at the end of that one level. Sure, I don't know. 
Bad, good, what do you, uh, okay, got it. Yep, very good. Ooh. Down, up. Hoop. That that's it. Hmm. I think I just might about do it for Star Fox. I do enjoy it a lot a lot better now than I did before. But I still don't know if I'm good at it. I know I'm not good at it. I, I know that, but Another Star Fox. It's fun. I'd like to see someone get further than the second stage. I think that would be cool if someone were able to do that. It won't be me. I can tell you that much. Uh, but that, that's that's it. Check out Cancel This Month on the FreeCheese.com if you're lucky enough later this month to pick up one of those tiny little Super Nintendos. Check out Star Fox and Star Fox 2. And tune back next Wednesday at 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time for another Retro Spotlight.